Meredith is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Meredith. Welcome to the Entree Leadership Podcast. Hi, Dave. So great talking to you today. You too. What's up? Um, so uh, we own a small civil engineering consulting company um, in Raleigh, and our last year's revenue was $773,000. And this year, we um, just found out we were going to be projecting over $1 million. Way to go! Um, thank you! We're so excited about it. That's cool! That's a big milestone! Yeah, it is! It is! We were, uh, we were kind of jumping up and down yesterday, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I started on my own about six years ago, and uh, now we have five salaried employees, including my husband and I. And we just feel... So, so you and your husband plus three. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And we, we just feel so blessed that people want to work for our company. And um, just given that we are a small business and so appreciative of the team members that work with us, uh, we would like to give them something at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So the question is, how do we set up or is there, because I'm an engineer, um, <laughs> is there a formula to use uh, to give year end bonuses? And then also secondary is how do you take into account growth or new employees um, for the following years? Well, number one, you don't have to do the same thing every year. So just because you do something one year doesn't mean you have to do it every year. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea to not make it. You don't want entitlement to set in or expectation to settle in because the bonus is an unexpected pleasure, right? Correct. And yes. if if it's expected, then by definition, it's not unexpected. So, <laughs> so there we go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, we don't uh, we do we do a, a prop. For instance, we do profit sharing, and we do it every month, um, and that is expected uh, as long as there's a profit that month. But it va- it vacillates pretty dramatically between month and month because some of our months are really dry and we've got some really juicy months. So uh, the bonuses or the profit sharing checks are all over the map. So anyway, that's there. Now, how can you determine how to disperse this among the three people? So what is the sum that you think you will be dispersing that you're going to divide by three in some method? Let's see. We, we're looking to hire two new employees in the beginning of next year is our goal. This is for the end so, of the year. This is this year. Yes, it's for the end of the Yes. So I guess I'm already, yes, in the future. But um, probably about 100000 or so. Among three of them. Well, that's going to be the, rev- yes. That you're going to give away to the three employees. Well, no, that we'll have, um, we'll have the ability to. It'd be the revenue for the company. No, you're not going to give all the revenue to the three employees. No. So I guess I'd need to start extra leftovers. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want you to anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Our extra is, is 100. You, you got really excited about this million, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My, I just, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So you got an extra 100 grand. Um, and really, there's you and your husband involved, and you're the owners. And so the maximum of that you would distribute to them would be about 30. 30 because because 30. you're the owner. Right. Yeah. And what do they make? Um, average about one fifteen. Yeah. And so they get a ten thousand dollar unexpected bonus or fifteen thousand dollar unexpected bonus. That's a really nice day. Yeah. That, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> okay. Correct. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing you do. And, and but they get disappointed though. I guess I, I wanna Why would they be disappointed? They don't have anything to <laughs> they don't they don't expect anything. If they got a next, dollar and they didn't expect anything, it's a dollar. Right. But what about next year? Would they get disappointed if it wasn't as. Oh, I think that's thought, a different, oh, con- that's so a different hard. conversation. It's a different, I'm talking okay. about this year. Okay. This year, I want you to just sit down with your husband and go, this feels good. Uh, 20,000 a piece doesn't feel good. 15 does. 10 feels a little chinchy. I don't care. You you make it up. I didn't. I'm not saying that's true. You guys talk about that, but you don't need to give all of this money to these three people. Number one, you all are the owners, and you work there too. Your owners and employees. So, you know, if you split it five ways, that's twenty thousand a piece. Um, mm-hmm. That's your max. And you wouldn't. And you. Why would you give them the same amount as you? You're the owner. You started this. Okay. That's not. That's not. Right, that's but- not equitable. 
but you always talk about how um, as a small business, we don't really have, um, you know, all the, the fancy things, the 401ks, the insurance. We're not all, trying all to of offset that. all of that with this bonus. Okay. So don't all you're doing is that. saying we had a great <laughs> year and we want to say howdy. Okay. And it's a really nice howdy. That's <laughs> all you're doing. You're not, you're not changing the whole philosophy of compensation. You're not setting up something that necessarily goes forward. This is a one-time, good-time thing. And that's what you tell them. You go, this year we had a great year. I have no idea what we'll do next year. It, last year you got zero. <laughs> right. Next year you might get zero. But this year, howdy. Here's 12.5. Here's 15. That's how you set it up to where there's no, exp and you say clearly, no expectation for the future is allowed because you didn't have an expectation <laughs> for this year because last year was zero. We could be back to zero. I don't know what this economy is going to do. We got an election year coming up and a bunch of crazy people running for president. We don't have any idea who's going to get in there. <laughs> I mean, it's a dadgum right. fruit show. So, um, you know, it's unbelievable. And, and you don't know what you're going to get. So you just talk like, just tell me that's the truth. I don't know what we're going to have. We'll deal with next year when we get here. But we have, we have one of our core values at Ramsey is we share the profits. That's it. We don't tell you how. We don't promise you when. We don't say based on what. But if we make a, you know, we make a bunch of money, we're going to share it with the people that brought us to the dance, our team. Right. But right, if we don't make a bunch of money, we ain't going to share it because there ain't anything to share. And so there's no expectation. This is not corporate America where we have a little formula and this is our corporate bonus <laughs> program and everyone knows what the formula is and it nobody gives a crap about anybody, but we have a formula. No, this is just, I got some money. Howdy. Here's some of it. Next year, okay. we'll deal with it again. And I would, I would keep it that open-handed. And then as you come into fourth quarter of next year, you got two more team members that started in January. They haven't been there as long. Maybe they don't get the same amount. Maybe it's not an even split among that group of five if you have a profit next year. Maybe the newbies get one level. You got one level of bonus for newbies. You got another level of bonus for the others. Or maybe you got one level of bonus. We, we had, for a while, we, uh, we had people that were on commission that got almost no bonus because if they wanted a bonus, they could go sell something. And hmm. the ad the, okay. pe the admins, the people, the people making this place run in operations, like in accounting and the ad personal, the administrative assistance, that kind of thing. Those people, the admin people, they're stuck. They got a salary. They can't, they can't affect their income. So we would dump profit more on them than we would the people that could affect their income with their actions. So we just, we, we developed class, so to speak, classes of bonuses. And we would share different yeah. amounts with different people and based on that. And all we were doing is just sitting down and going, hey, th what feels right this year? And uh, ours has changed many years every year. It hadn't, it hadn't changed every year for the last two or three. But, I mean, we used to change it all the time. We don't, our, our team does not know how our profit sharing works We don't because we don't share the formula. Because the formula is never the same, it'd be tough to share. So do you just keep that between – the people that need to know. Yeah, so we just, we make it up. People, my husband and I, and then, yeah. um, but we so have how the, did you come we have to a have the monthly? We have a principle oh, of generosity, and we have okay. a formula that we're using for this quarter that the accounting team knows to run the bonuses out. Because the formula doesn't matter. All, the, all that matters is the principle is there's profit, we're going to share it with you. Okay. Right now, you got to be with Ramsey a year before you're in profit sharing. Right now, if you're at a certain level of leadership, you're exempt. You don't get profit sharing because you got other kinds of you got other kinds of comp programs. Okay, sure. so my operating board doesn't get profit sharing. They're the ones paying it. They don't get it. So that'd be <laughs> dumb. And so you know, we're trying to make sure the money is distributed to the people doing the work. And uh, as a howdy, 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 thank you, thank you, howdy, and hand them a okay. check. And it's a great way to say thank you. And if you don't get all caught up in trying to make it predictive and uh, entitled, then no one gets predictive or entitled with it. Um, and, and you just make it make a big loud noise about, we just share, we love you, we appreciate you, we're going to share with you. And that's all you need to do and then figure it out. Um, yeah, the problem is you get into corporate America and they think they have to put a comp plan that in place that stays in place for 10 years and then it becomes part of people's lives. They get dialed into it and they have an expectation 
And I didn't get my Christmas. You know, you got Clark Griswold. He didn't get the Christmas bonus, didn't get the pool, you know, because it was an expectation. And that's what you get into. You know, stay away from Clark Griswold bonus programs. There we go.